You may have already seen someone with the famous purple bruises on their body or even experienced cupping therapy. To learn how this ancient technique which is now used in most physiotherapy clinics works, its benefits, who can receive this technique among other questions, stay with me as we explore cupping therapy. Hi everyone, my name is Raul Goulart, I am a Brazilian physiotherapist and acupuncturist and I have been working with the cupping therapy for about 5 years now. This is my very first video in English, so I hope I can reach more people around the planet and share my experience and knowledge. So if you are not a Brazilian, please let me know where are you from in the comments below. To begin with, I will quickly explain to you how cupping therapy originated. Its first use date back to about 5000 years ago, that is a long time. It was practiced with some rather different objects, such as buffalo horns in indigenous cultures, bamboo cups in China, and after a while, the English invented the glass cups that are still used today. But today, modern physiotherapy uses acrylic cups with suction guns that are more practical, like this one. All these cultures practice cupping as a way to provide health and well-being as well as to reduce muscle and joint pain. Knowing the physiological action of using cups, their benefits and indications becomes important for the physiotherapist to use this technique safely and effectively. But after all, what is cupping therapy about? Cupping therapy is an alternative practice based on traditional Chinese medicine that works with the application of cups on the patient's body, creating a vacuum and through the suction of the skin and muscles generating a negative pressure. And this negative pressure stimulates blood flow, which is why there are those red or purple marks in the areas of application. By stimulating blood flow, we can bring more oxygen and nutrients to the tissues, which are usually tense and tired. Muscle tension and soreness are the main indications for using cupping therapy. For those who are afraid to receiving this technique, don't worry, it is not a big deal. Instead of the pressure down that is normally done in massage, for example, we feel a pressure from the muscles and soft tissues into the cup, like a suction. This therapeutic resource is part of a set of techniques recommended by the World Health Organization. There are some ways of applying cupping therapy that I will mention next. And we also have a video here on the channel where I show how I apply cupping therapy in practice. I will leave it here in the card, make sure to watch it. Although the video is in Portuguese, you are still able to see how it is done. The most common and the most used form of application is dry cupping, which is nothing more than placing the cups on a specific points of the body, then leaving the cups in these places for about 5 minutes. In this technique, it is common for the patient to have red or purple marks that will disappear in about 7 days. The second form of application is cupping with bloodletting. In this case, the therapist will make a small incision with a needle and at the same time apply the negative pressure of the cup with the intention of removing the patient's blood. It is indicated for the treatment of high blood pressure, mental agitation and blood stasis. Cupping with traction is a technique where the therapist pulls the cup in the opposite direction to the body until the cup comes off the skin, being great for the treatment of trigger points and mobilization of muscle fascia. And lastly, there is the cupping massage, which is the most pleasant one. It is indicated to promote hydration of dry skin, improve blood and lymphatic flow and also for the treatment of edema and scars. It also gives a very pleasant relaxation. This is the only case where we therapists use some slippery solution like cream or oil so that the cup moves throughout the body without discomfort. If this topic interests you, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment below so that I can make more videos in English. Cupping therapy is a powerful tool for treating various conditions such as chronic pain, muscle tension, stiffness and even respiratory conditions. 
can also be used as a preventative measure for maintaining overall health and well-being. It is important to know that cupping therapy should be performed by a trained professional, and it is not recommended for certain medical conditions such as varicose veins and other blood disorders. When I did an internship in China, I was able to see some several Chinese doctors and I noticed that they used this technique in approximately 90% of the patients, from simple cases of tension and muscle pain to respiratory problems. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding the benefits and how cupping therapy works. So guys, that is for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.